Hi everyone. Uh, paper one: Investigating Small Business, uh, 2021. Uh, this paper, where uh, first question and second questions are available right in the uh, my previous session. So today we are going to discuss the third question of this paper: uh, Small Business Case Study. Uh, the small business case study is called the NOF. There is an organic farm in Europe. So, uh, organic farm, an inconvenient uh, organic farm, NOF is a farm range of fruits and vegetables. Uh, it has a farm shop and offers accommodation with the breakfast. Right? It has a farm shop and they are giving accommodation with the breakfast also. So, it was set up by the Amanda and Ken Edwards in the West Wales, UK. So, again, this business operates in two sectors. Uh, primary sector and the tertiary sector because primary means they're offering in the farm shop and uh, the, the growing vegetables fruits called primary sector and then uh, they are selling it uh, in their shop and also uh, for accommodation that comes from the tertiary sector therefore this business has uh, in the establishing primary and tertiary sector and it's a partnership uh, kind of business you can see amanda and edward husband and wife business in uh, uk west wales NIF supports the farmers by selling local organic produce uh, in its farm shop. The produce uh, from the farm shop is served to the visitors staying overnight at the farm. NIF is committed with the being environmentally friendly by recycling uh, to avoid the use of packaging and reducing the use of electricity. Okay, let's go to the question number three today. Question number three, the first question they're asking, uh, define the term remuneration, right? Usually definition questions. Uh, in uh, Excel, uh, they are always one mark question. When you're uh, answering a definition question, you can always uh, use the your terminology, subject vocabulary. Uh, uh, we call the remuneration means the total amount of the money that received uh, uh, by an employee by working somewhere. So it will be a uh, remuneration can be all the salary, wages, and uh, all other allowances. It's uh, kind of, we can see the pay package of the business we call the remuneration. So uh, the remuneration can be, uh, you know, can be calculated in several ways. The remuneration package means the uh, salary plus fringe benefits also we can say that's the remuneration total package. Uh, sometimes in executive workers, sometimes they will get the huge high remuneration package and the, the low level uh, we call the uh, labor classes. You can see the top middle low level of management are there. So remuneration will be uh, going always again higher when you go to the top of the uh, corporate hierarchy, right? When you're answering this kind of question, you can use the, uh, like, you know, technical terms, as I mentioned. Now, it's a simple definition you, you expected, no need to actually write any uh, definitions and, uh, like, I mean, examples. When you answer this question, I'll show you the marking scheme here. Uh, you can see correct definition of remuneration, money paid for a work, uh, work or service. Money paid for work or service is a remuneration, right? money paid for work or service, easy definition, right? Okay, let's go into the uh, part B, question number three, part B. Outline one reason. Outline one reason why NOF would choose to use the seasonal staff when harvesting its products. So this is the uh, two mark question, AO2, checking the application skills. When you are writing this kind of an answer, you have to always use the application from the case, uh, NOF farm. Outline one reason why NOF farm would choose to use the seasonal stuff when harvesting in product because uh, in a farm there is a time that we need to we need to have a farmer getting very busy because when the harvesting season comes uh, we have to take the harvest and sometimes in the in the beginning also we need more people in order to make the lands and everything plots asking him outline one reason they need to have a seasonal stuff there are certain staffing methods are there flexible working uh, temporary staff part-time workers or uh, like uh, zero hour contract workers and seasonal staff, ne? permanent staff like that. They're asking one reason why they had to choose this uh, seasonal staff member because when the harvesting time comes, they need to have more workers are there. So at that time, the more workers they need in order to manage the demand, manage the supply, they need to have, you can the answer, uh, you can the AO2, AO2 certain application, AO2 assessment objective two application, entire two marks we went for that. So. As a farm, NOF will harvest different crops at different times, uh, right? So demand will then increase for seasonal workers at those times. So you can otherwise accept any other appropriate response. So 
uh, and not will say do not accept the reason that is not in the context of the form right if you sometimes some students are writing some different answers so but the answer should be in the context of the uh, in no form that's why so they have a different crops they're growing at different time therefore demand will then increase for seasonal workers at those times so some seasonal workers are important to actually handle their harvest right so like that you can say seasonal workers why it is important to hire seasonal workers not the permanent because permanent workers sometimes no need because sometimes are there we don't have any that much of work to do right but like the beginnings and the end there are some certain periods are there we need more much more help so as a result you can you can say the seasonal workers are important in order to uh, in different times of the year to manage the demand in the increase of the seasonal workers at those times right Let's go to the uh, next question. Can I have looking to expand its product range by making and selling tubs of ice cream? A tub of ice cream will sell for 2.5 pounds. Right? So now not only vegetables and fruits, uh, they are, this is the dairy, those who have, they have, they're producing manufacturing farm ice cream shop or they're creating. So it's a good uh, way of diversifying your business. Right, so uh, then what happened? They are selling one type of ice cream. We don't know whether it's a one liter or two liter or five liter. So they are selling that tub of ice cream for selling price is two, two and a half or 2.5 pounds. Then the variable cost will be 1.1 or one, one pound and 10 cents per tub of ice cream with fixed cost of seven to seven pounds per day. Fixed cost of seven to seven pounds per day. Calculate the number of tubs of ice cream Ednoe will have to sell each day to break even. You advise show your working. So in this case, uh, they are asking how much is the number of tubs of ice cream Ednoe will have to sell in order to break even. So in this case, uh, in order to calculate the break even, we know the break even formula. Uh, we have all the elements are provided here in the question. You can see break even point equal break even number. Uh, we can calculate by uh, fixed cost divided by selling price minus variable cost. So in this case study, we can see the fixed cost of the ice cream. They are given in a different way. Fixed cost is seven to seven per day, per day, right? So they're asking uh, the daily break even point. That's why calculate the total number of tubs, uh, ice cream that they have to sell each day to break even. You advise to show your work. So in this case, then we can divide the fixed cost given, right? Daily fixed cost divided by selling price minus variable cost. What we call the selling price minus variable cost we normally uh, known as the contribution per unit. Contribution per unit, right? If you, uh, this case normally uh, the workings always adverse show your working because sometimes when the answer is wrong, you are still, you can earn some mark if you correctly apply the numbers into the formula. So break even equal fixed costs over selling price minus variable cost. So here I'll directly show you the answer here. Uh, the response should be like this, uh, fixed cost divided by, so here contribution is uh, selling price minus variable cost. That is uh, uh, 2.5 minus 1.1, that is 1.4. So 1.4 is the, uh, 1.4 is a fixed co uh, variable cost, uh, um, for selling price minus variable cost, which is contribution per unit. And now in this case, uh, in fixed cost over contribution, you can see 7 to 7 is a fixed cost per day divided by 1.4. We can get the answer 55. 55 tubs or 55 units. 55 tubs or uh, 55 units, you can say. So usually, uh, or you can simply, you can write, divide it by 7 to 7 over 1.4. The answer should be 55, right? So they say award two mark for the correct numerical answer without working, without working. And award one more for correctly substituting the numbers into formula. And then uh, that's why without working, but your answer is correct. If you get the 55, however, from the answer is substituting from the calculator sometime, somehow, you will award it two marks. Two marks for the correct numerical answer without working. So that's the thing. Sometimes if you, it's better to write, but even though if you're not writing your formula, uh, formula and the workings, but if you ended up with the correct answer, you can get the two marks. Right, this is uh, how it happens in the O levels as well as A levels also say, right? The correct answer because we believe that student can do it by calculation, by using a calculator. So no need to uh, show the working entirely, but it's very advisable 
to actually show the workings there, right? Okay, so uh, answer is 50 tubs of ice cream, right? Uh, 50 tubs of ice cream you can sell daily in order to break even. That's why in order to find out that much of money, you can break even point, you can find like that, right? Uh, part D, this question they're asking, question number three, part D, analyze by uh, the how useful the break-even calculations can be, right? Analyze how useful break-even calculations can be for NOF when deciding whether to include ice cream in its product range, right? Analyze how useful break-even calculations can be for NOF when deciding whether to include ice cream in its product range. So uh, this case, they're asking a break-even, uh, not a calculation, they're asking the how this uh, break-even concept useful to the farm NOF when deciding whether to include the ice cream in, in their product range. Now, right this kind of answer, you have to know the break-even advantage they're asking, the usefulness of the break-even calculation, the advantage they're asking in this case, uh, when deciding whether to include the ice cream in the product range, because it's a kind of a diversification strategy that they are going to expand the business into another product line it's good uh, because not only people would like to buy vegetables and fruits they would like to buy uh, the uh, you know ice cream also right when the you know right like that break even you can plan how many quantities that you should sell in order to break even, which is cover your entire fixed cost right in this case if you cannot cover the entire fixed cost Right. Uh, that means if you cannot cover the find out the number of units, for example, the ice cream tubs, uh, if you can't sell at least 50 units, that means the business can decide whether they are loss making that time. They can formulate another different strategy how to sell the entire uh, 50 tubs. Sometimes they can sell externally, sometimes they can sell to other retail shops, sometimes they can have some kind of a uh, agreement, sometimes different selling strategy like door to door selling. Sometimes they can offer some kind of a hire some ice cream van or something, right? So this is the way you can find out the benefits that you can have some sales target that you can give for the little uh, the people who are working in the sales department or sometimes to the here the Ken and Edward. So both of them they can find out different marketing strategies and also cost strategies. If you find out okay there are variable cost high, they can uh, find out ways to reduce the variable cost of the ice cream. Right, so uh, look at the marking scheme here. So they're saying, uh, question number three D, analyze how useful break even calculations be for a uh, NOF in deciding whether to include the ice cream in its product range. Uh, application three mark, analysis three marks. NOF can see that it will need to sell 55 ice creams each day of to break even, right? So it will help NOF to see that what point it start making profit and can ask what if questions to see what impact it has on the break even point. Moreover, NOF can use this information to decide if it can sell 55 tubs a day for 365 days a year. Therefore, this might stop NOF from making ice cream as it may not be able to sell 55 tubs all year round. So like that. So this is really important now. Now, uh, when you're writing like this kind of point, always six marker, try to write two points. Like they're asking, they're not telling exactly two points, but analyze questions, you need to write two points. Even this analyze questions are coming for advanced level also. So uh, A is A is A2. So six markers, you can write when you're writing that analyze question, try to do two points, two paragraphs, I think recommend, I'm recommending. So first point, you can see, you can read the application point with the analysis point. A second application point with the second analysis point. So analysis mean like what will happen next as a result of that, what will happen? This will lead to, right? What happened next as a result of this point and the development. So firstly, they're saying the, the NOF can see that will need to sell 55, right? From break even calculation, the output they can find out, okay, they have to sell 55 ice cream tubs. As a result of that, it will help the NOF to see at what point it start uh, making a profit and can ask what if questions to see what impact it has on the break even point. Right? It will help to annoy to see that at what point it start making a profit. As a result of that, we can find out definitely if you sell more than 55, profit is sure. But if you sell less than 55, profit is uncertain. Therefore, what if questions and everything you cannot 
right? Uh, we can find out what if questions like different situations, we can have different scenario planning, we can find out in order to uh, work out the break even and we can find out, figure out where they can, what kind of impact is there on the break even. Secondly, you can see the NOF can use this information to decide it can sell 55 tubs a day for 365 days a year. So this is a challenge, right? And then uh, as a result, this might stop NOF from making ice cream as it may not be able to sell 55 tubs all year round, right? Because this is the daily business, but daily they can't do this game because sometimes there are holidays are coming, there are, uh, right? Sometimes, you know, there are winter season coming, then ice cream demand going down. Season impacts are there. So always 55 quantity, sometimes not viable, like not practical for a uh, NOF. So as a result, they suggest in that this may stop NOF from making ice cream as it may not be able to sell right, 55 tubs all year round, right? So this is the uh, six mark question. That's how we have to write that question. This is, came from break keyword, like uh, the first point is I say we can take the break even quantity wise some idea we can take and second point we can see they are talking about the business continuation decisions they can take whether we can continue with this product or whether we should discontinue this product. Okay, now part D is done. Then uh, we're going to part E, a nine marker question, right? Uh, nine marker question of this paper. There are two nine markers are there in a paper. Right, uh, two nine markers and one 12 marker. Question number two, there's a nine marker. Question number three, there is a nine marker. So this is question number three. They're asking, NOF is looking to increase the number of visitors to the farm. Some kind of a marketing question. They wanted to increase the number of visitors to the farm. So it will need to carry out some research as to what potential visitors will want. So it will want to carry out some research as to what potential visitors will want to this to NOF considering two options. They want to because they are doing, as I told you, not only farming, there's a small like a uh, kind of a renting, like, you know, breakfast, bread and breakfast business, like a small uh, rest house business over there. So as a result, you can see, uh, they wanted to increase the number of potential visitors in the farm. So they, are, they want to do that decision. So they are considering two options. What are the two options? Option one, handing uh, out questionnaires at local retailers. Handing out questionnaires at local retailers. Option two, using the internet to research other farms. Right? Handing out questionnaires at local retailer, number one. Uh, and option two, using the internet to research other farms. So they want to, what they want to do here, you can see, uh, they want to carry out some research actually. Right? They want to carry out some research to uh, see they, what potential visitors will want. Right? They want to increase the number of visitors to the farm. So increase in order to visit the farm, they want to carry out some research to do that thing. What kind of potential visitors will want, we want to come to kind of a farm and the bungalow. So they are pointing out two things, handing out questionnaires at local retailer. This is kind of a primary research. You see, there are two types of research primary research, you call field research, you can yourself, you can go and to the market, you can directly contact people and get the information through primary research method like questionnaire, focus group, interviews, observations, everything comes under primary research. They are giving, without telling primary research, they are giving a method. Okay, handing out questionnaire. From questionnaire, you can obtain quantitative information and sometimes from questionnaire, you can find out even qualitative information can be gathered. Right? Because they have to write something, some it's not always MCQ questionnaire. Sometimes you can write open-ended questions and close-ended questions are this. Like and you can write some comments of therefore from questionnaire, you can handle, you can gather so much of details and information, different types of information, quantitative and qualitative. The second option is using the internet to research other farms. So this is the more uh, uh, what you call the very uh, popular method. And very easy method, we, uh, on the other hand, we call this is a secondary market research. This is a method of using internet. We call it, you know, normally we call like just Google it. So Googling is kind of a secondary research method. So now we have a point here, the nine mark with this question was asked from the primary research and secondary research, research but methods, questionnaire versus internet. Whether you're going to find information called questionnaire or whether you're going to 
find this research you're going to do this from the internet justify which one of these two options and now you should choose so you have to justify which one option which option is the best for the end right so when you're writing a nine mark question i'm always as i'm telling so nine mark there is a structure for nine mark question you're expecting uh, usually a nine marker always you have to pick one option there right because they're asking one option of uh, one of these options so pick one option both options are correct option one no option two both are correct pick one right so you prefer if you are primary if you know more about primary you can talk about primary more if you're confident that you can write more about the question yeah pick that answer no issue if you are more confident on uh, uh, on the internet right so advantage disadvantage using internet pick that option both options are correct but how can you write an answer how can you use this answer so right two advantages and two disadvantages we can call normally call how well analyze points evaluation points so and knowledge application points so we don't need to write definitions here and we don't need to write any conclusions here so nine marker it's very easy to memorize that format two two select option two positives two negatives so argue two arguments for and two arguments against right so question answers for local retailers and internet for research other farms so question and method is a primary method and internet is a secondary method you'll see in the marking schemes how they are providing the answer for the both options but in your in your writing in examination please pick one option and then you can write okay here we go so option one and option two both they have given this is sample answer guys so you can see uh, when you are writing these answers just use this as a sample guideline you don't need to write the same answer in the examination but you can use your own knowledge and your method of writing so you can uh, write to any answer using your creativity and imagination uh, with application to the enoy farming you can use so i'm picking first of all option one option one we are talking the primary research that using how to create a questionnaire for the farm option one in questionnaire will let enoy approach of potential customers face to face to see what will attract them to visit the farm so it will give a questionnaire to let enoy approach potential customer face to face to see what will attract them to visit the farm then face to face you can gather the information you can give the questionnaire and they can gather the information what they can directly find out the reasons why they want why they want to visit look at the analysis point so enoy can ask specific questions from the customer which help them they give the detailed feedback they have therefore if you ask this question from the specifically from the customers you can get the detailed feedback uh, from the customers uh, the retail shops a lot of customers are coming so they will give the genuine reasons i like to visit your farm because i love fruits and vegetables i want to see how plants growing i like to see visit your farm because i like to actually see the this environment eco friendly thing because i have been so many hotels all hotels they have only the swimming pool and the beach or something like you know but i like this thing sometimes some people might tell their true right in a feelings about the this uh, selection sometimes they are saying okay i would like to come to your place because your prices are good is affordable i like to come to your farm because your food are delicious i heard that you are giving organic food this is organic farming right some people would like to attract to this place because they like to provide organic food than vegetables right they wanted to eat the fresh like a thing how just sometimes some people say for a change i want to see how farm look like because we are living in a very metropolitan city very highly urbanized area with the over apartments and skyscraper buildings i want to see i want to spend a night in a farm i want to see that difference so you can get the genuine idea from your customer that's the first point you can see like that you can write your answers like that and as a result what happen uh, in noif can specific question you can uh, get the detailed feedback and that can used to help you attract more customers in each farm look at the how go point for application ao ao1 ao4 application for option 1 uh, evaluation point however in noif may not get all of the information however in noif would not get all of the information it require people may not want to fill in the questionnaire while they are shopping so it might not be a very helpful or limited feedback this is sometimes the the desired question are not getting all the information that they require 
you can't always expect 100 percent perfect yeah, uh, answers for your three questions so that is always there's a limitation question yeah 100 percent information you can't gather right at least 80 percent 90 percent sometimes 70 percent but you expect you can gather that's why that's always a limitation it's not perfect method right and moreover second point look at see if you go to internet method you can see internet option two NOF can view large selection of websites to look to other farms and gather information. So not only here, UK, even as in Scotland, Ireland, Netherlands, France, Italy, Germany, uh, you name any country, there are farmlands. And you can get information about these farmlands, how they operate, how they doing a similar businesses, large amount of information can be gathered. Look at this advantage. So as a result, look at the development. It will be less time consuming and costly as it can see that what other farms offer already and compare to its own to see if it can improve based on this information, right? It will be less time consuming. Why? Just one click, just type and Google. Then you can get this information at your fingertip. However, point you can see how internet what happens, some information not reliable. And you can see sometimes, you know, it may end up spending a lot of time looking at the feedback or sometimes it will outdated information, which will not be very useful for it. That's why not reliable and not credible, you can say. So for it, and it is not gaining any specific feedback on its own form. So these are the main limitations of secondary. Sometimes it can be outdated, data can be outdated, now is no use of data. Like that, you can mention different, different things, you know, regarding the internet. So as a result, you can see overall, when you're writing a, like a small ending line for an mark, you can add the end, the end. Overall, I presume option one would be the great option. Or you can see option if you wrote about option two, you can see option two will be the greatest option for in no if because the advantage outweigh the disadvantages. And you can add more, however, it depends on that is depending the, the selection will be depending upon the uh, desire and the like you know uh, the more the desire of the Ken and Edwards, the partners of this business, will depending on the selection of Ken and Edwards. Either you can conclude the answer like that way when you're writing a nine mark question. Uh, two positives, two negatives, and a small ending line is enough for a nine mark question. So yeah, so today we talk about in you know, a small session about the question number three. So we finished the question number three, this 20 marker we discuss. What are the questions we discuss? We talk about nine marker about the primary secondary research. We talk about six marker question about the how the use of break even point uh, for the ice cream tubs. And we do break even calculation question for the ice cream tub. And also we talk about outline question, why they use seasonal stuff in harvesting periods. And we start with the question, define question, define the term remuneration. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this session. So in my next session, I'm going to do another question, like a question number four, the last question of this paper, which include the 12 marker question. Okay, so uh, see you in my next session. Uh, everyone have a great day. Thank you very much.